Hi everyone, I'm Mary with Mary Greeley News. Thank you for joining me. Hope you had a good weekend. Well, along the Calaveras fault line there in Melpitas, you guys have been rocking and rolling. There was a magnitude 3.4 earthquake that 1,211 people reported feeling. And it's not far from the Hayward Fault. We can see here how the fault line dipped and moved towards the east. And let's check out the pressure. Yep, the first wave of the earthquake, which is called the P wave, came from the west. Look at that. Let me show you Google Earth. Here we have the area of all the earthquakes. And this is the Calaveras Fault, and it runs down and joins up with the Hayward Fault. It was reported over a very large area. We got Roseville, Sacramento Valley, um, Santa Cruz, Concord, San Rafael, uh, Redwood City, California, San Mateo, California, um, Pacifica. That's Pacifica right down there. I went to school there, high school. Might find this interesting. The fire department there in Pacifica has built the uh, fire station right on the top of a fault zone or the fault line. Yeah, it's it's on a creek and of course creeks and rivers fall along along uh, the fault zones. Anyways, we'll pull this back out. 15 earthquakes within the last week. Uh, most recent was a 1.3, a 2.0, a 1.7, a 1.1. A 1.9, a 2.1, a 1.2, another uh, 2.1. There was several. So we got 2.1 there and also there. Um, we also have a 1.1, uh, a 1.3, the 3.4. Before that, there was a 2.0, a 3.4, and a 2.3. Now, that other 3.4. 1,182 people reported feeling that earthquake. Again, the first wave of the earthquake came from the west. I suspect pressure because of the earthquakes that have been happening along the Hayward Fault. Uh, tension was applied going north. The fault line moved slightly west and looks like it slightly dipped. I wonder if it was actually stronger than what USGS is reporting because it was reported in Yuba City. Lake Tahoe, Sacramento Valley, Santa Rosa, and Fresno. Automatic by the computer, it could have been as strong as a 3.52, 3.73, Yeah, we know that USGS loves to downgrade 4.66. Mm, what else we got here? 5.0. I don't think it would have been at that high. Would have been more reports. Reports from EMSE says here bed was shaking. Sharper push short. It felt like a light shaking back and forth. I thought my dog was kicking the chair. It lasted about three seconds. It was a two to three second shaker. Nothing more. No damage or anything. Heard a sound and then the shake. Well, the sound you hear before the shaking is the P wave. Audible house shaking, no visible signs. Bed was audible shaking for a few seconds. I felt the couch shaking and we heard some dishes rattling. But my boyfriend in the same room didn't feel it. Uh, North San Jose felt the fur furniture rattling for a few seconds. Uh, felt the couch shake. Uh, but my boyfriend didn't notice it in a different room. Initial jolt followed by a couple seconds of stillness. Then a couple seconds of shaking, not major. Now the other 3.4 that came about 5 hours later. And remember, any earthquake has a 5% chance of being a foreshock for something much larger. Felt a thud and shaking. Felt the couch shake. Audible shaking while sitting in the chair. Window curtains shook. Small jo jolt felt north of San Jose. Felt a wobble while the seat in my chair lasted for a second. Uh, felt a wobble while seated in my chair. Another one lasted a second. 
I can hear the house rattle, noise in Fremont. Felt sharp jolt for a sec, few seconds. Uh, longer than the last one. They're talking about the first 3.4. Quick shake. Felt a thud followed by an all right jolt. Um, this time could hear cracking sounds, but no cracking or damage. Couldn't see any significant movement, but felt stronger than the last time. Uh, maybe two seconds. A couple of jolts. A single rattle and heard. Three seconds long, a bit of shaking. Quick, noisy, abrupt, three to four second shake. Um, Pleasanton, California. Felt it harder than the morning. But all of these, according to automatic by the computer, are in the threes. And I did see one that was a four on a different page. Now this one they're saying it was a 3.4. Here we got 4.75. And there's some zeros. Yeah, the farther away the monitor, the smaller the earthquake would record 3.85, um, 3.69, 4.12. All these earthquakes were at the northern end of the Calaveras Reservoir. See that? Yeah, they're in a cluster there. And I'll bring this out again. So you can see the Hayward Fault. Yeah, I've been watching that. And these are all the earthquakes. Now, some of these earthquakes, like I said, they could have been stronger. And quite a few of them have been felt. Uh, this one here, a 2.35. Uh, USGS had it as a 2.1. And that was felt. We got a 3.5 to a 3.4. Yeah, a lot of people reported that. And this is not a densely populated area, but I showed you how it was reported. The one, the first one, all the way up to Lake Tahoe. And this would be over here on the right, what they call an orphan earthquake. Um, supposedly not associated with the earthquakes there near Malpitas. Anyways, did you feel this earthquake? Um, did you check your foundation and maybe door frames and window frames for cracks or the corners of your house or apartment building for cracks? Um, if so, how long did it last? Um, what type of things were moving? Um, yeah, that type of information. Please put it down below. Thank you for watching. Please stay safe and I will talk to you later. God bless you. Bye.